Hello everybody, Billy here from Cosplay Lego and today I'm going to be starting a new cosplay and as you already know from the title of the video I will be starting a Darth Vader cosplay Woohoo! Yeah, and I'm really looking forward to it so stay tuned for loads of videos of me building this Darth Vader cosplay So, in today's first video we're going to be building the belt and I have a few pictures here of the belt actually so, the main, the main parts we have to build would be the two uh, boxes on either side with all these buttons and the main middle buckle and then there's also a little hook on the side which looks like this which is for clipping on lightsabers. So, yeah, I know a few of the dimensions and yeah, but I'm just going to use a ruler and a pencil and I'm going to try and figure out the dimensions for this and I'm going to draw them out on paper and yeah, I'll get back to you guys once I've done that. So let's get into it. Okay, so it's been a day and I have actually devised a new strategy for making the templates. I printed them out. So what I did was I went in Photoshop and I made all the shapes for the belt and I made them to scale on an A4 sheet of paper and I printed them out and now I have these stencils and they are, they should be 100% perfect. And I'll show them on the screen right now. And if you want to print them off for yourself, you can screenshot that and print that off. So yeah, here they are. And yeah, so you might be wondering what I'm going to do now that I have these stencils. So I'm going to grab some foam. I just got this from Target. It's like a... I think it's called an EVA floor mat. That's what it's called. So I got some of this and I got loads of scraps as well. And I'm just gonna cut all the shapes here out of them. And there are a few shapes that are meant to be a bit smaller. And for that, I'm gonna use smaller sheets of thin foam to do those shapes. Oh, let's see if, do I remember to bring, I didn't, I don't, I, I don't have my trusty scissors. I'm gonna go get scissors. Okay, so I've been playing around with the cardboard. No, not the card. Okay, so I've been playing around with the foam and the paper for a bit, and I've devised a plan. So, first things first, you gotta get the paper stencils and you gotta cut them out. Just on the line, gonna cut them out perfectly. And you can use a knife or scissors for this. Once you've done that, you're gonna get yourself a piece of foam, like this. You're gonna put the paper down, and you're going to get some sort of marker that will show up on the foam. I've actually got these silver markers that I've had for a while. And you're just going to trace it down onto the foam. And for this, you may need some pins and they could be, they could help out a lot. Stick the, um, the paper into the foam, just like this. Don't go the whole way in, just get them there so they're sturdy. And then you can go around with your with your marker and just trace trace the whole thing. So yeah. Then once you've traced it onto the foam, you can take out the pins and the paper and cut the line. Now I forgot to say this before, but when you're cutting, try and cut on the outside of the line that you drew before and then, once you've cut it out, you go through with a sandpaper and sand it down to the line. Now, it's a bit messy, so yeah, that's why you need the sandpaper. Okay, so I've finished sanding it and it isn't perfect, but it does look a lot better. And once we finish putting it together, we can go through and uh, sand it a little bit more. Yeah, um, I'd just like to quickly say, also, um, these little rectangular pieces, uh, when you sand them, sand them kind of at an angle so there's a bit of a bevel going in on the inside. So it's a bit of like kind of a 3D trapezium. And just because that's the way that they are on Vader's belt. So yeah, do that. Okay, so I'll now show you how to assemble the left pouch on Vader's belt. So the way that it has to be assembled is you have to have these two at the top there and these six circles assembled there. 
and I'll use um, my texture to mark it out and make sure it's all perfectly in the right spot before I glue it. And about gluing, to glue it, we will be using contact adhesive. So this is really good for gluing together foam. So I'll be using it. And you, I got this from Bunnings. You can get this from probably like any, you know, hardware store. But yeah, good stuff. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna go mark out where I'm gonna glue this down and I'll get back to you when I've done that. Yeah, and I almost forgot, but you need these two um, thinner foam pieces, one bigger circle and one smaller circle. You need to have the smaller circle on top of the bigger circle and you need to put it right here. If I can do that, like that. So yeah, that's the full layout. Okay. So, now that I have all my lines marked out, I'm gonna use the contact cement to stick them together. So, I get some, and I put it where I wanna stick it, and I wanna stick this right here. Hmm. Interesting smell. And then I put it on this, as well, which is what I want to stick to it. And then we wait for a few minutes. Okay, so I think now it's all good. It isn't really shiny anymore. So I think all I've got to do is just put it on the spot and press it down. And bam, that is stuck there. Gee. No, that is, that is tight. So this works, and yeah, I'm gonna glue everything else on, so let's do that. And here it is with all the things glued on. Now let's get on to the next part of making this pouch. Okay, so for the next step, we're gonna need these five pieces here. So we've got this one back piece, which is the same size as this. We've got two of these longer pieces and two of these small pieces. So what we're gonna do to start off with is we're gonna get this back piece, flip it over so that the rough bit's facing up and we're gonna get, we're gonna get them all and we're gonna stick them like this. So that these two big ones are on either side and the smaller ones fit in here like that and and with this one as well and so yeah I'm gonna do that real quick okay so now I've finished putting together this box and it is really good. So next thing to do is you're gonna make the exact same thing except reverse it. So these two boxes are on this side, this hole's on this side, and these are on this side. Just so it's the same thing except reversed. And I'm gonna go do that now. G'day everyone, so I'm back again and I have finished both boxes. The one for the left side and the one for the right side. So now it is finally time to do the buckle. So, you'll need another piece of foam. And this time we're gonna to need to use this smaller piece up here. And this piece is meant to be just slightly smaller than the ones for the, the boxes. And then, as well as this piece, you're gonna need these two pieces here. These actually need to be cut out of this thinner sheet of foam. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna cut this out of this foam, and then I'm gonna cut this bigger one out of the normal thicker foam that we've been using. Okay, so now we have the three pieces to make up the buckle. And it is time to glue them together with some more contact adhesive. So, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark out the center of, of this, this black one and the center of this thinner buckle thing. And I'm gonna line up the centers and I'm gonna glue it together like that. And then, once, once I've stuck that together, I'm gonna put this one right here. So, yeah, let's go do that. And 
And with that now done, we have now finished the three primary pieces of the belt. Okay, so now it is time to fill in all the little holes. And for that, I'll be using Sally's Plastibond Heavy Duty Bog. So I think I've, I've used this once or twice before and it's really good with filling in all the little holes. So that's what I'm gonna be using just to go along the lines and then I'll sand it down again after. So this actually comes with two parts. There's the actual bog and then there's the hardener, which like starts the drying process. And uh, little me, when I had it before, I cut a hole in the side of it. Cause I didn't know how to open it. I actually got some scissors and I cut a hole in the side. Anyway, let, let's, 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 let's get this open. Let's, let's use it. So if I grab the bog, open it up, pour some in here. I'll open this normally this time. There we go, a little bit of a hard enough. Now, let us mix it all up. Oh, this absolutely reeks. If I just pull this up and chuck it in all the little crevices, that should be good. You know what? Frick that. I'm gonna use this instead. Polyfiller. Polyfiller. I used this loads of times in the past. So, let's use this. Uh, it's all dried up. I'm polyfiller, don't let me down. Is this water based? I'm gonna add water and see if this works. Okay, I added some water and I think this should be good now. Come on, polyfiller. Okay, so I've now sanded them down after they've dried and they're looking pretty good. So the next step, we're gonna need some, some glue. And um, with this glue, what we're gonna do is we're gonna coat everything in the glue, just so to prep it for painting. So it, the paint doesn't actually seep into the foam. So let's paint this glue onto, onto these pieces of the belt. This, this could be a little bit messy. Okay, so for the next part of this belt, we're going to be making the actual belt. So the way that we're going to do this is I've got two long strips of two and a quarter inch thick foam. And I'm going to use the thicker foam for this because I want this to be really strong. And I'm going to cover it in this vinyl. And I'm going to cover it all the way along like that to give it that nice texture. And then I'm going to pull it around the back and I'm going to Stick it tight together with um, with this uh, Araldite glue, which is really good glue. I, I use it a lot. And yeah, so basically I'm going to do that. And then once it's dry and I need to attach the belt to myself, I'm just going to stick some Velcros at the back so I can do that really easily. So I'm going to glue all the vinyl to this. So actually change of plans. Rather than using the Araldite, I'm actually going to just use more contact adhesive to stick the vinyl to the foam. Okay, so now we've attached the straps onto the belt. And by the way, if you're doing this, then I put half of the half of the belt buckle of gap between the belt buckle and the boxes. So the next step is we're gonna go in with a flat gray primer and we're just gonna cover the whole thing in it to get it ready for painting. Okay, so now that the primer has dried, we can go over all the little, all the boxes with this silver. And we want to get the buckle covered in silver, we want to get, and the top of the two boxes both covered in silver, and I'll tell you why once this dries. So, let's do it. By the way, this is a Rust-Oleum metallic aluminium, and rust is really good because it has two times the coverage, and it's just really good spray paint. So, let's get back to spraying. 
Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over and we're gonna mask all these um, six, six knobs and we're also gonna mask uh, the button on the inside. And to mask it, I was gonna use some masking tape but I couldn't find it, so I'm just gonna have to use some normal tape and hope that it doesn't peel the spray paint off. And also, I'm gonna have to mask this middle bit here as well. So, let's get masking. Okay, so now that we've taped it off, we can cover it in black paint. And the black paint that we'll be using is Rust-Oleum Gloss Black. So, let's do it. Okay, so now I'm gonna paint the top of this button in red paint, so I'm gonna go do that. Then we're gonna get a straw and cut it into two pieces that are just under five and a half centimeters long. Okay, so for the next bit, we're gonna need two pieces of foam that are five and a half centimeters by four and a half centimeters. And then we're gonna have to draw on a fishnet pattern with our silver marker, and that looks like this. And now we're gonna have to glue the fishnet around the straw like that and for that we're just going to be using some more contact adhesive so now we've got these two things and we're just going to add them into the belt in these two holes right here okay so in Vader's belt these two pieces on both sides are actually green or light up green but mine's not going to be lighting up and I was looking for green but I realized I don't think I've got any green paint anywhere so what I'm actually going to have to do is I'm going to get some uh, duct tape and I'm just going to tape a little patch on top of both of them on both sides. So that's how I'm going to get the green look. So I'm going to quickly do that. And now it's time for the final reveal. So, thank you very much for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you if you're making your own belt or I hope you just enjoyed watching it if you're not. By the way, in that little clip you saw of me with the lightsaber, the hook I used was just this hook that I found in Bunnings, which you can probably find in any like hardware store. And the actual lightsaber was this retractable blade builders one. So, pretty straightforward. And for my final cosplay, I'll probably upgrade both of those items. But just for now, that's what I'm using to attach the lightsaber and that's the lightsaber that I'm using. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. Stay tuned for all my next videos on how I'm making the armor pieces. And the next video out will be a video on how I make all the separate armor pieces. So the chest plate, the shin pads and the cod piece. So stay tuned for that. Hope you have a great day and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.